Hi, everybody. How's it going? Last talk of the day. Great to be in a, a room full of data geeks just like me. Isn't it great? Not very often we get to do this. Hey, deep in heart, I know you're all data geeks. We all are. So I'm just going to have a bit of a chat today. Um, I don't want to take too much of the time because I know we're all sort of quite keen to finish the day, but I thought I'd finish on a bit of a, a head-spinning moment. You'll see through the presentation there's a lot of movement going to go on, um, but hopefully it doesn't sort of spin you out too much. So I'm going to talk a bit about this, the story of evolution, I guess, from how we started from paperwork, doing a lot of the stuff that the cyclic boys do, coming from a contracting sort of back. Where we, where we work, um, and also how that sort of moved into quality improvements, and I think as Scott mentioned before, the wealth of knowledge, and how we're trying to improve that wealth of knowledge by making sure we're capturing it correctly. So there's a few key sort of points there. Oh, start number two, right, here we go. So what's happened? Is that a ding already? Is that, is that it? <laughs> Done, All right. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, um, what we've noticed in the past five years, ten years, has been an exponential growth in a whole heap of areas with regards to service delivery. So not only are we now required contractors, suppliers, more services, there's more data requirements, there's obviously more cost saving requirements, there's more productivity requirements. All these things have basically grown exponentially over the past five years. So a lot of the times with the old methods of how things used to take place, how we actually used to record work, how work went through the whole process of being captured in the field through to being entered into a systematic database has changed significantly. So all these things that we could have stayed in the old old methods of just carrying on with doing what we're doing, but I think Warwick made a good term, I remember him once telling me that if we start to pass data through many pieces of hands, eventually the quality gets diluted and starts to lose its, its value. So the idea is if we can sort of centralise that, capture it at a single point and put it into the system, theoretically, data quality doesn't get reduced. So I thought that was a good analogy. So I'm just going to talk a bit, obviously, exponential growth. And I do believe that we do still need to try and maintain that balance between both being effective in the workplace as well as being efficient in what we're doing. So it's trying to main, maintain that right balance. Obviously administration, uh, I guess you must have known in the old days that people used to go out, fill in paperwork, our guys still do that, so there's paperwork, goes into the administrator, administrator then enters that into the database, etc, etc, errors sort of come through. There's also I guess three points of entry if you look at it, both from the field both then from the supervisor signing it off and then both as well from the office then entering it into the system to record it. Then you've also got the claiming process, so there's also review, supervision still going on there. So there's a whole heap of errors which can be inherently implied in all those sort of parts. So we've tried to embrace technology as much as we can and that's that balance once again between efficiency and effectiveness, getting that right, right approach. And we believe that some of the tools which are in place now, and I won't name names, but I think you sort of know what we're referring to with, with regards to RAM Patrol and the mobility tools are helping a lot with what we're going through there. So at the, the end of the day, what are we trying to get? Once again, we looked it up in a dictionary. Information, because we wasn't too sure. I'm a simple person. I do like simple things. So hence, go to the book. What does it tell us? So the important thing is getting information directly from the field, getting information in predefined templates, let's say. So what we're trying to do is get the information from those guys, both from the field, from the supervisor, and to the office, all in the accurate sort of method. Now what we've done with regards to using patrol is uh, creates predefined templates. So now when the guys go out into the field, it's a simple push button approach. I'm doing this job, this is how much I'm doing. All the other attributes and details I used to have to enter are all basically now disappearing out of the process because it's all preloaded into the, into, the, into the template. So great, once again, that sort of improves efficiency with the guys in the field. Then once again, once we do inspections, a big part of course, we all know our networks is network inspections. The inspections are also predefined, so we can now control what they inspect, where they inspect, how often they inspect. We saw as well from um, Simon there before with regards to the grading. All that work is now recorded inside the system. So there's a record as to when the road was inspected, when it was programmed to take place, all centralised. Very good feature. 
And as well as that, you've then got the added benefit of data entry within the office being reduced significantly. So hence, administration overheads are being reduced, which is once again, from a business point of view, very efficient. So there's added benefits to this whole mobility helping the business sort of in the long term. But of course, there's no point in having all these tools if you haven't got quality information. So what we're really talking about there is quality is driven from the templates that we put in place. So similar sort of approach. If we've got the right inspection taking place with the right template, he's identified the right location. I don't know how many people have worked in operations before, but how many jobs have we had which have happened in the wrong section of the road? in the wrong location, all those sort of errors that usually take place. Once again, if it's captured accurately, put into the system accurately, the right job, therefore the physical work taking place is going to be the right job. So that's really what we're trying to do with this sort of tool. Of course, we've got the other ability of doing unsealed roads and trying to get better inputs through the system. And then as well as that, the added feature of capturing that information through videos. I don't know whether anyone has seen some of the tools which are out there as far as video capture. There are some very good tools. Once again, mobility, added data, added quality to the whole process. You've got some sort of gains with regards to value showing, proving that certain things are taking place. All this sort of, like we talked about, leads into added efficiency. Um, being efficient, I think, in this modern time with regards to cost savings is quite imperative to where we need to be. We're trying to do that. We're trying to do that with the tools in place and using many different tools. Certain tools that we've sort of embraced are the likes of, thank you to Andrew Litchfield at AMA. Um, we've used, embraced the inspection tool, so that's used on quite a few of our contracts, as well as ramp patrol, so there's tools in place. That's an example of the location referencing tool that was shown before. Once again, that's almost become the tool of choice for most people within the business now, and I do believe it's probably the tool of choice for most people working on the state highways. It's great to see an innovation taking place on one network with a bit of a drive has been taken over by everyone within the industry. So our guys are using that. Once again, efficiency, we're getting the right location, we're getting the right, all those sort of details captured correctly, it adds a lot of value. And then as well as that, we start to put that and link all these features together into the likes of RAM Patrol, into the likes of RAM GIS. It's all adding to the process. And finally, all this leads to increased value. So where we see from the value, we're sort of seeing the value from basically mainly happier operations. <laughs> so the value being the happier operations, the guys are actually going out and being rewarded with doing the right work. They're not getting wrapped over the knuckles for in incorrect paperwork, not claiming correctly, getting the wrong areas, all these sort of common features that were taking place with the tools that we've now got with mobility and some of the smarter sort of aspects in place, these things are making the crews happier, so they're actually doing the right thing. We're getting happier administration because admin's not sitting there basically entering in paperwork all the days, chasing up people to go and find out you forgot a job number here or you didn't enter this detail over here or et cetera, et cetera. So there's improved happiness in the administration department as well, which is all a big plus for everyone working in, a, in an office environment. And we're also, I guess, hopefully getting happier clients as well. But at the end of the day, we believe that the asset managers, the people who are actually making the decisions, are the ones who are becoming the happiest of all because they're the ones that are actually seeing the gain of this wealth that we talked about, uh, Scotty talked about a while ago. There's also the gain of ensuring that we know that when the data's been collected in the field, it is relative to the correct location, it's relative to the associated assets that you're looking at that site. All this adds into basically the right decisions being made. So, so overall, by embracing technology with that balance between, as I referred to before, the balance between technology and effectiveness, we still need to make sure we're being effective as well as not overspending or overdoing the technology sort of part of the business. So there you go. Thank you very much. That's all I have to say. And um, yeah, let's just say let's embrace technology. I think it's all there for a good cause. <laughs>